Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. Today, uh, me and Kristen are going to be showing you around the Linux desktop, Linux Mint specifically, because um, I fixed up her laptop and liberated her from that problem reaction solution piece of dog shit known as Windows 8. And here we go. So, Kristen, notice when you move your mouse on the screen, there's a little sidebar that comes up? Yes. And notice there's the second one uh, from the top, the little green arrow. You hover over it to screen share? Yes. Uh, click that, and where, okay. it says, where it says desktop when the thing pops up, uh -huh. click higher desktop. Highlight it and then click start, start screen share? Yeah, one, uh, yeah. Click the desktop thing. Make sure that's mm -hmm. highlighted. Then start screen sharing. All right, I'm okay. screen sharing. Cool, and minimize the browser so that um, it's not like infinite loop from hell or anything crazy. What? Minimize the browser. <laughs> minimize the entire browser window. Make it go bye bye. Okay. Okay, I did it. Cool. There we go. <laughs> Took me a while to realize what you were saying. Now I'm going to disable my video so that hopefully all everybody is seeing here is your Linux desktop. Hopefully. Alrighty. Sounds good. Okay. So what should we get into first? It is up to you. I think it would be cool to um, see about the video editing software, maybe a little, but I don't really have a, that specific of preferences, so. Click menu. Okay. Gonna, okay, we're going to want to bring down the menu there. Uh, hover over it, uh, administration. Is that this? Yeah, okay. where, where it says administration, then see all the programs coming down on the other side? Yes. On the other side, scroll down to users and groups. Okay. Put in put in your password, obviously, don't speak it out loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, give it a second to load. Now, click on Kaylee. Click on I where bet I know what the password is. Yeah, click on where it says password. Mm -hmm. And then um, change it to... Uh, whatever you can remember that you can give her later. Obviously, do not verbalize it. We are on a live hangout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Of course, later on you could do the same thing for everybody else who happens to not know their password that's on there. Alrighty, sweet. Okay, so see, that was easy enough. Yes, it was. And I don't know why the weather isn't coming up right. Sometimes the little weather plugins are a bit you a little whore, and other times it functions fine. I don't know what's up with that. I like it, though. I bet this part is accurate. Alright. But at the very least, to... you do have the temperature up at the top. See all the way up in the top bar? Oh, yes. And if you click on that, you can get the five-day forecast and all that happy shit. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, I see. Would you just look at it? Okay, that's cool. You got a little calculator widget down there, too. Yes. For when you're doing your Nazi camp work. There you go. <laughs> God knows that will be happening soon again. 
Well, not soon. In a few months, but soon enough. Let's see. Click on computer. That? Where it's oh. just computer on your desktop. <laughs> Literally. Right. Yeah, right there. Good. Cool. Hmm. All right. Um, Is it too late to not broadcast this? No, we're like, we're on. We're totally flowing out. Why? Okay. Never mind then. That's all right. I'm going to file system. No, no, no. File system. It's like, it's literally right in front of your face. It oh. Looks... <sighs> going to home. find it eventually. Right there, H-O-M-E, all in alphabetical order. Mm. It's all in alphabetical order. Go into home. H-O-M-E. Okay. Oh, yeah. more. Then go into, once you're in home, go into Kristen. Make sure you survive. There we go. So now you see how there's a video directory and there's a media directory and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, it's just like I've shown you. I put stuff in both. Um, go into templates. Okay. See, now, I gave you most of my template files that I used for all my little creations. Oh. So go into video templates. Okay. Go into special effects. And those are some of my uh, overlays. Oh. Look like um um, load up SCG spiraling star field. Yeah, with or without orange nebula, that's up to you. Yes, I'm seeing this. effect should be very familiar to you because I've used it on so many Paradigm Shift episodes already. Yes, I like it too. It complements videos really well, usually. You can close that one out. Um, click on the um, spiraling space. It's up near the top. Oh, yes. There's that one. It's pretty cute. Um, go into a sort of matrix code. You see me use that one. <laughs> yes. I still have not seen the Matrix, surprisingly. But I've heard people talk about it so many times that I have a pretty good grasp of what it's about. <sighs> I'm not sure if I gave you the Matrix or not. I gave you a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if the Matrix trilogy is one of the ones I gave you. Um, it may have been. I just quickly glanced uh, over the videos. Yeah. But I, if it's if you didn't, it's on Netflix. So. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay, so go back up one level, back and in, back into um, video templates. All right. Oopsie. <laughs> Is this what you want? Um, back into video templates. Go. Video templates. Go into back. Twenty fifteen. Oh my gosh. 
there's the main opening file. Go and in, go into the folder. Look what's in the folder. Go in there. Keep going. Go into go into audio. Wow. <laughs> See? Oh. Yes. Keystone. It's not a social group you can slap a label onto. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really hear it's it. It's an intention. You probably got it real low, so I can't actually hear it over here. That's okay. Oh, yeah, I have my headphones in, too. That's all right. So, yeah. It sounded it nice. Cool. <laughs> all right. I'm just showing you around. I mean, because this is yeah. on my drive. Um, Go up to the main uh, templates. Or, unless you're not done. Mm -hmm. um, go up to the main templates directory. Now, remember how I that music comp uh, composition software? Go, yes. Um, I believe it's up there. Uh, go, go back up. Uh-huh. Up, up one directory, just into the root templates directory. Go into Pro Audio Sequencing Wavetable Database. All right. That's about four gigs worth... Oh instrumentation and effects for making music. Oh my gosh. Oh you gotta let me look at And some look of these. at and look at and look at where where it says each folder says how many items are in each folder. Jesus. Pay attention to how many items are in each folder. Oh my god. Yeah I gave you my entire library. Oh thank you so much. This is gonna be freaking crazy. Now check it out. Minimize that back to the desktop. Okay. You don't have to close it. Minimize it. Open up. See where it says open MPT? I will soon. Just give me a second. Yes. Open it. I will. This is, this is technically a Windows software, but it's one that can be tricked out to run on the Linux desktop. He was looking a bull. Um, no. Apparently, you did mommy first. No. Alright. Maybe I need to click on it again. Um, don't say anything to Peggy. She's a loading. So, is this just a software where you can overlay the different audio files? and? You'll see. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Not loading for some reason. Go into menu. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's not loading. It was working last night. In fact, we'll try going on a different way. Hover over wine. Oh, no. Oh, there it comes. There's just oh, some for some reason. Okay. It's probably going to load up. Oh, it's loaded up three times. Look at your taskbar. Close out two of those. Yeah. That's weird. It didn't take that long to, to load up when I was doing it. Oh, well, no big deal. Yeah. My computer okay. is a laptop, so... File, open. Open. Mm -hmm. It's open. I know. I'm just getting to now, it. Yep. Now hit the up arrow. No, the, mm -hmm. now hit the up arrow. Oh my gosh. No, oh no, that's going through the hun. Um. He was just um, oh, oh, that's oh, I'm I'm sorry, that's not where you can click cancel. Sorry, my bad. There was something else. Uh, click uh, click on help, and let me see the drop down menu there. Okay, example modules. That's what I was looking for. Click on any one of those. Hmm. Prehistoric bird. Okay. And maximize the little bitty window that's in the window. Little square there. Yeah. Click on patterns. 
and you're you're in the editor. You can scroll up and down. This is line Ooh. for line, note for note, instrument for instrument. <laughs> um, hover, see see oh the God. play options. Hover uh, hover over it until you see the one that says play all. Play options. You gotta hover over it. You know the little icons, the little the blue ones. Oh. Stop play, but you know that stuff. Not play pattern. I said not play pattern. <laughs> how well you listen. Um, go up to you know how oh, there's, please. there's the top row up there. Uh huh. I think that middle one there might say play all when you hover over. No up. There's two rows of blue thingy. Oh my God, there are. That should work. Hit it. Now you're playing the song and you're seeing it scroll by and it's going to go pattern by pattern. Scary. And notice how, and notice how the little blocks change and they're numbered? Those are the pattern numbers. Yes. Whatever pattern number is in those spaces, that's the one that, that's going to play. See, we went from 0 to 1 to 2. Now it's going to go to 3. I like that. And those are just the pattern numbers. That's not to say that it has to go in number order. That's just the identification of the pattern. Yeah, I like that. You could have it to where it goes zero 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 one one two two. I'm. Mean, it just you know, it it just depends on how you do up the song. Oh. You like that? I do. That's neat. Prehistoric bird. <laughs> I don't know what it has to do with that, but <laughs> well, I don't know. What, what do what do half of Nirvana's song titles have to do with anything, much less the words to the song? <laughs> it's a metaphor okay. or some shit. Okay, we can close this out now. Just want to give you a few things. That was cool, but I have very little idea on how to use it yet. All things in due time. <laughs> um, click on Caden Live. I'm sure you know which one that'll be. Um, Little blue video thing. All the way up the top there. Blue video oh, thingy. Video. I'm trying to find it, dude. Uh, it's, a, it's a few to your left. Keep going to your left. Yep, there you go. Get in line. Okay. There we go, see? Hey! Editor. Mm -hmm. You have to load clips into the main, you know, clips box that's all the way to the left. So you right click in that box. This? The left, all the way to the left. Right there, yeah. Right click. Add clip. Now first, um, why don't we why don't we go into back into the um, video templates and you could add whatever special effect from there you wanted. Gotta go into the video templates and then into the special effects. See where it says special effects there? Yep. And which one do you want? This. Okay. No, this. Okay, just open it. Then uh, uh, just hit just X, hit the X, hit the orange X, hit the orange X. Just orange X, yeah. <laughs> now, um, click back into that, you know, right click back into that box again. Add clip. And the wherever you put the video file that you had your concerns about. Okay. I, uh, I haven't downloaded that onto the laptop yet. Okay. Well, then go into your videos and... 
take one of your older videos of you that's in your one project directory there and um, just load it in because I'm going to show you how to do a um, to do the uh, semi transparency you know the overlay mm -hmm. it should All be right. like projects I'm pretty sure projects oh. videos videos yeah there we go projects there we go. I have no idea what that one was. But. Oh, that's that's the one with the bad audio. Uh. <laughs> Remember that that one was glitchy and poppy and clicky. Yeah, a lot of my videos were, but try adding one of the other ones because I know that the the ones in the smaller titles um, were the ones with uh, you and Emily and um, yeah, ad clip. Yeah, let's add one of the WYN20, whatever. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Now, um, read this here. Um, drag and drop the win201, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, into the, the, the lowest um, video box, whether it's video three or uh, whatever it says. I'm, I'm having a hard time reading the labels. Okay, now now take that and drag it all the way to the beginning, because obviously, you know, you're not going to want it at the 30-second mark. Okay, now take the SCG spiraling star field and plop that down right above it. And, you know, move that all the way back. Okay, now le left click on, on the blank white area right where your video ends. You see the end of the clip there, okay. Now see near the bottom right, you've got that little slide bar. There's this magnifying glass there. You got that uh -huh. little bar. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom in more? No, uh, that's good. Now, okay. now, now your, wow, that uh, the audio in the background is starting. Um, Can you turn that down? Yeah. Turn that way down, please. I'm in the middle of a video. And it's live on YouTube. <laughs> All right. All right, so exactly right where your your video clip on the last video track ends, you want that <laughs> white that white line right exactly where that clip ends. And you, and you got to left click that line into there. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. You have to left click to do it. Uh-huh. Okay, move it to where this move, ends. No, um, move it. Uh, move it to the. Uh, it's got to be lined up where your bottom video clip ends. The video clip that has you in it. That uh -huh. line has to be perfectly lined up with the end of it. Is it not perfectly? Um, as far like as that? Listen, yeah, it's got to be perfect. Do you have a perfect? It's, I know you're a little over. Zoom in more if it helps, but it has to be perfectly lined. Okay. Yeah, zo keep zooming in more. See, it's got to be absolutely perfectly, 100% perfect aligned. Okay. Now we're see where it says Razor Tool? Yes. Up at the, up at the top there? Yeah, click, left click that. Now you've selected Razor Tool. And what you're going to want to do, your effects track above it, you're going to want to cut perfectly on that line so that your your star field effects is literally second per second exactly the same length as your bottom track. Okay. So, so you're going to want to cut. You're using the scissor tool now, so see the little scissor? So you're going to want to want to go to your effects track, go up a little. Got to go. It's got to be on your effects track. No, it's got to be on the effects track. There we go. Now make sure that scissors lined up perfectly with that line, and then left click. Okay. Now go all the way up and select the selection tool. Now with the selection tool, left click once on the section of the clip that you're not needing anymore. The one that's all the way to the right. Now hit the delete key. 
for it. I'm finding it. I'm finding the... There we go. Okay. Now, see that little blue line up above on the track where the number count is? Mm-hmm. You can actually use left click and grab the end of that. And you're always going to want to move that over to the right to wherever the end of your video currently is. Yeah, just like that. Now, check this out. The, your, uh, now, I'm just talking about your effects clip here. Mm -hmm. um, go all... Um, left click on... You know, make sure you're all the way to the left. Mm -hmm. But left click on your effects clip. So that you have it selected. Now, right click. Hover over to add transition, and then go all the way up to affine. It's right under addition. Go all the way up to affine, then left click affine. Now see where it made that yellow thing? Mm -hmm. You're gonna wa you're gonna want to expand that yellow thing all the way to the to the end of your video there. Oops. <laughs> now I yeah. need. Expand it. I don't mean move it. I mean expand it. No, I don't mean move it. I mean expand it. There we go. Now, left click on affine. There we go. Now, a lot of the options you're going to need are blanked out. I'll show you how to get them going. Left click on your very first, you know, track up there and get get your your white line there to the very very beginning of that affine you know your position line the this one, the one that's running vertical yeah yeah the position no 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 just just click anywhere in the white thing the white space left click keep going all the way back click to the end because you're going to want that... Okay, good. You're going to want that line, yeah, right at the beginning of the affine. Now, left-click on the affine. What is that for? Left-click on the affine. I'm trying. Got to move your mouse down and left-click on the affine itself. Because it's, you're, 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 no, the affine, A F F I N E. You see the big yellow smear there? You're going to want to left click on right. that so that it's selected. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's weird because I'm showing on the screen here. In the project monitor, okay, now it's coming. In the project monitor, see where it's got those four squares on each end in the project monitor? That's a part of exactly how you know you're at the beginning of the clip. Now, see where it says opacity? Yes. Left click so that there's so that that blue that's showing is only about one third. So left left click there. Uh, move it over to the right a little bit more. All I gotta do is click left click to move it. Hover where you want it. Left click. Left click. Oh. I'm trying. Okay, now check this out. See on the uh, on the project monitor. See how there is a little a little play button there. In, in the black mm -hmm. button in the in the white circle. Hit that one yes. time. Hit that one time. See what's happening in your project monitor? Yes. So you can adjust the levels of how much the star field comes through versus how much you come through. Oh. See that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, but so that's you, basically you what we were just doing? You have to be all the way at the beginning of the affine and then have it selected. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you see how that works, right? Easy enough? It was... It was okay. Not that hard, right? Now, okay. you know, when you render down, uh, click render. I mean, I'm not going to have you render anything. I'm just going to show you the settings. Click render. Um, see where it says file rendering? 
up at the top it says file rendering. Mm -hmm. Click on that. You're going to want that set to lossless HQ for high quality. And then in the box below it, you're going to want to select MPEG-2 iframe only video plus MP2 sound. See it? MPEG-2 iframe only video plus MP2 sound. Yeah. Now, it's got to be on that setting, and then when you are ready to render the file, and we're not going to do it, I'm just showing you what to set it as, then you <laughs> click render to file, and it'll bring you right, right into the job queue tab, and it'll say it's rendering, and it'll give you the ETA time less, so on and so forth, da da da. Okay. Now also, if you're doing a very elaborate video project, what you're going to want to do is um, every time you make a few changes, see where see where the save button is there? Mm -hmm. Well, you'll you'll save that to a, to a project file. So it basically saves your whole on-screen configuration. Because, oh, that, okay. Because one of the perils of any and all video editors, regardless of what operating system, is sometimes they just like to sporadically like crash and tell you to go fuck yourself and everything's just gone. And if you didn't like save your position in there, it's like what the fuck. Oh. Same yeah. with, same same with editing and audacity as well. Um, always make sure you save down project files so that you know you're not you're doing something for an hour. I've almost got it done, and then. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen to me with things in like Word and stuff on Microsoft. It sucks. Yeah, so definitely save down project files. Okay, well, we can close out this program. I just wanted to give you a basic idea because you had a question about that before. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. I definitely have a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. To learn. All right. Um, have you tried GIMP yet? No. See that, no, I haven't. See that little artist paint brush splotchy thing there? Yeah, that's GIMP Image Editor. That, oh, is, cool. that is basically Photoshop without being Photoshop. That's essentially what that is. Oh, heck yeah. Mm-hmm. And there you go. Let's get a frickin' photo in here. Yeah. Just don't load up any of uh, Daniel's porn. This is YouTube. We don't want to violate any you know, <laughs> terms of service or anything. I'm going to choose a random picture of Emily and I. <laughs> now, if oh you my go, God. now if you go up in all your little options, your little drop-down box options, you've got all sorts of filters and tools and color tools and layer tools. Oh, holy crap. And it's going to take you a long while to learn this. That's okay. Nobody learns this program instantly. But that's what I make stuff in. Sure so cool. all, all those nice little logos and stuff that you see me make and all my crazy designs on DeviantArt and stuff, yeah. This is the software that I use. Oh, it's going to take me so long to learn this shit. But that's okay. It took me a long time, too. Oh gosh. That's not true. As a matter of fact, some, sometime uh, maybe we should like while I'm editing stuff and doing <gasps> stuff, you know, I can I can get on here and just uh, show you how I do it. Because obviously with this interface we're using right now, I can't control. Mm -hmm. You know, I can only talk to you while you're giving me the you know the display here, but. You know, I, I no. control your screen. Whereas, you know, the situation in, in reverse, yeah, you know, I can show you how I do that. Heck yeah. There's just so much here right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Okay. Click on menu. Menu. Is it up here? All the way up in the top 
Um, right. Okay. End of the freaking desktop. Here. Okay. Um, go into um, hover over graphics. Look at how much shits and graphics that I put in there. Oh my gosh. Feel free to scroll through and look around. <coughs> Blender is a crazy difficult program. That's even beyond me. I just put it in there just in case you might have an aptitude for it. it, it it's, a, it's a very professional program that, like, you know, like, oh, wow. like Shrek and things like that. Mm -hmm. It'll let you make Hollywood-level freaking graphics and animations and all sorts of stuff. This is like Hollywood oh, wow. freaking quality. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Yeah, this is like this is like you know the shit that they you know they use in in the mainstream. I can I can actually show you something that was that was made in Blender. Um, sure. check this, check this out. Um, exit both Blender and GIMP. Let's you know let's clear up some system resources and um, I'll show you something that actually um was made in Blender. Close without saving. Yeah. File, exit. Oh, see, it's gone. Okay, cool. Uh, go into your browser and open up a new tab and go to YouTube, unless you already have a YouTube tab open. That's all I think I did. Yeah. Open up a. Yeah, that one's fine. Go to YouTube. Now in the search bar, type in Big Buck Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Just click God on Big Buck Bunny. Click on Big Buck Bunny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that third one right there. Skipping area. So this is made using Blender. No way. Yes way. God, I could barely understand how to move that square. I don't understand how people... I mean, with a lot of practice and knowledge on the subject, but... It's definitely impressive. Most no, certainly. Oh. That's like Shrek-level graphics. Yeah. Gotta look at some comments. Actually, 
I do believe there are also Windows and Mac versions of Blender too. So if somebody has Windows or Mac, they can do a search for Blender, and they'll find the website. It's you know completely free download. That is very cool. I mean, Not I'd like to. Awesome. Now see where that see the the one next to GIMP that's that little eye thing with the gray rounded square. Yeah, that one. That gives you your options for desktop screenshots. All right. So when I was giving you screenshots and stuff for progress updates on your laptop, this is what I was using. Well, this is way more user friendly than trying to screenshot the other way. You can grab the whole screen, grab the, the current window, or select an area. And then uh, once you've done that, you can either save it as a file or copy it to the clipboard and then paste it into something like GIMP or whatever. Hmm. Alrighty. Now check this out. Uh, click menu. And in the little search bar up there. Uh -huh. Type I N K. See Inkscape? Mm -hmm. Load it. This program is the equivalent of Adobe Illustrator. Oh. And I never really played with it much or know how to use it or whatever, but it's pretty slick. GIMP does most everything I want to do anyway, but um, if I ever need to venture into this, then I will, but the fact that I haven't done it doesn't have to stop you from playing with it if you're interested. Yeah, you might want to maximize that. The little square button there, yeah. Woo! And now if you hover into the options there, you know, your little drop-down menus, you can see all the different options and stuff you got. So this is basically... Um, yeah, um, you know how where it says File, Edit, View, Layer, Object, Path, Text, Filters, Extensions, etc. Those bring up drop-down menus with mm -hmm. you know, even more options. So if, this. You, if you wanted to go up there and look at that. All the way up the top. File, Edit, View, mm -hmm. Layer, Object, Path, Text, yeah, click. Object? Uh-huh. Go through them all. Just click and hover, see? Look, path, text, see, look at all the options. I'm just trying to show you all the different uh, mm -hmm. options we got in there. So it's just got crap, oh, yeah. crap loads of options. Freaking cool. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the uh, the rough equivalent of uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, to the best of my knowledge, just about anything Adobe Illustrator can do, this puppy can do as well. Oh, that's so fun. I'm going to be using this. Lots, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. And see, and then you'll get used to using something that I don't even really have any knowledge about. Just because I haven't needed to dive into it. <laughs> I'm sure you could figure out how to use this just fine. I'm sure, but I just have no need to right now. Yeah. It's all right. It's so fun. Look at this. Okay, now let, let's close that out and show people what they can upgrade to if they're suffering with um, Microshaft Office. Um, click on Menu <laughs> and start typing in the search box LIB. There it is, LibreOffice. See it? Yep, right there. And of course, Open Office is cool too, but it comes with LibreOffice uh, pre-installed. Um, well, they, they both look and feel about the same. I don't suppose it really matters which one a person uses. I probably got Open Office installed on here too, although don't completely quote me on it. 
but yeah, this thing, it does everything Microsoft Office can do and more and can, you know, import and export uh, Microsoft Office formats, import and export PDF, um, all sorts of crazy stuff. And now if you go and click on the, you know, the toolbars up at the top to look at the options and stuff, like if you click File, then you'll see the options for, you know, Save, Open, Import, Export, all that stuff. You see ex Export as PDF, you know, all that good stuff, so. Mm -hmm. This does pretty much everything. So it's a very powerful word processor for only three low monthly payments of zero dollars and zero cents. This can be anybody's. Oh my gosh. And I'm not sure if there's a Windows version of this, but I do know there is a Windows version of Open Office. This is super freaking awesome. Yeah, how helpful will this be for Nazi camp work? Oh yeah, and I've always wanted to kind of write a book, so. <laughs> now, one thing I've always liked about programs like these, whereas last I checked with Microsoft Office, uh, they didn't make it this easy. Um, right click. Okay. Look at all the freaking options: font size, style, alignment, space. Ooh. Look at all of them in just a single right click. It always annoyed me to death that Microsoft Office was unable to do that. Oh, now that's cool. And whether or not they've corrected that error, I neither know nor care, because Microsoft is a piece of shit, um, and this is free, and it's better. Maybe you've used Microsoft Office. If you have, you'd probably have a more recent knowledge as to whether or not you could right click and, and get all that in there. but. Last I checked, they didn't have it in there, and I found that to be very annoying. Um, honestly, I was so used to using it where they didn't have that option, so I didn't even check when we got our new. Uh, so you just went all the options on the, on the top. Yeah, I just. Oh, that's what I hated about Microsoft Office is you had to go to the top, and you couldn't just left click and get them all, or right click, excuse me, and get them all. But. With this and with Open Office, you can right click and all your freaking you know options are there for your text formatting. So yeah. Woo! That is freaking crazy. Yeah, so it's it's pretty damn convenient. Yeah. I am so excited about this. This on our other laptop. I mean, we have Windows and stuff, but we didn't have any Microsoft Office programs, any video editing, photo editing, nothing like that. So this is really, really awesome. Yeah, I loaded so many programs onto that thing that, you know, if all those were mainstream programs, there'd probably be about ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff loaded on here if they were oh. corporate versions. But seeing 99.9% oh .9 of everything with Linux is free, very few things are pay. Um, you know, you don't got to worry about all that. And the quality Thank level is so so much. No problem. Um, go uh, menu. Mm -hmm. And then hover over um, sound and video. And then scroll through there and check out what's in there. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. Let's go with cheese. <laughs> oh, golly. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so and now we can, we can see you while still being in screen share. And I can see myself. All right. Let's see what we have here. Effects. Oh, I like that. Okay. What did he say when he shot it? When he was about to shoot, what did he say? He said stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 
You want to see something really cool? Mm-hmm. Check this out. Um, close out that. Um, click on Home on your desktop there. See where it says Home? Click on Home, homie. There you go. Yeah, right there, Home. We're going to want to open that. Go into Videos. Go into Project. Now let's say, hypothetically, you had a, a video file that was in MP4 format, and um, the video portion about it was less relevant than the audio, and you wanted to copy that to a portable device that either, A, doesn't support um, MP4 format at all, or the MP4 file is just bigger than what the drive on the on the portable format will actually support. Mm -hmm. So you want to just bring the audio over to it. Well, right click on one of those MP4 files. Get it out. Ew. No, not load it, right click. You, you, you left clicked. I don't want you to load it. I just want you okay. to right click so that the options come up. Right click on the file. Go to open with. Um, okay, we didn't open with. Um, other application. Apparently I didn't put it in here for this format. Other application. Alright. Scroll down to where you see sound converter. Sound converter, click on that, and click OK. Go into edit. Preferences. Now the first thing, for whatever reason, when, when we're going, when, when we're converting the audio out of a video, every other way fucks up except for one. Click on Format. See the drop down for Format? There's a little drop down box. Og Vorbis OGG Format. And there's a little arrow, you can click it. See it? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Click that. Select um, MS Wave. Shit. And hit close. Now hit convert. Close out that program. Yeah, there's a WAV file in there. Mm -hmm. Right click on the WAV file. Um, right click on the wave file, not on the not on the blank thing to where we're totally getting options we don't need. Right click on the wave file itself, see? Anywhere where it says the name, win two oh one five oh two two six no, 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 no. On the wave file itself. Not on a blank brown area. Right click on the wave file itself. On the wave file itself. Make sure you're clicking that, yeah, right click. There we go. Open with. No. No, no, no. I gotta go to open with. Open with Audacity. Just gotta give that a moment to load. Um, hold on a second. Um, click OK. Now there's the WAV file, and of course you could raise, lower the volume, do all sorts of stuff, but right now I'm just showing you how to put it into a format that is going to be compatible with other players and stuff. Go to File, go to Export, 
Yeah. Click in it. Okay. Um, now see that drop down box where it says Wave Microsoft? Click that click in that box to give all the other options on the thingy. Yep. Uh, go down to um, MP3 files. Now see where it says options? Click the options. Okay. The default quality is 128 kbps. Um, click where it says 128 kbps so we can get all the other options showing. Okay, cool. Um, 256 is standard super high quality. 128 is average quality. Um, 56k is uh, phone quality. 64k to um, basically 64 to 128 is internet radio quality. So, so obviously the lower the quality level, the smaller the file size is going to be. So it, it depends on how much space you have open on your device. Let's say there's not much space and it's going to be kind of bitchy, then you're probably going to want to put that at like 64 or 80. Okay. Like, okay. Now see the file name at the top there? Click in there and add a .mp3 extension to the end of that. Now in your little uh, directory browser, go back to your, your videos directory where we were that had all those other files. Um, it, right there on the side, see where it says Kristen, Desktop, File System, Documents, Downloads, DW Helper. Mm -hmm. Scroll down to, to videos. Click into videos. Go into projects. Okay, now click save. Click OK. Now we can exit the program. Okay. Nope, nope, hit no. Because we already saved the file, so hit no. Now, see where it says dot, you got the same file name, dot mp3, dot mp4, dot wave. You can delete your wave file. Notice the wave file is huge and the mp3 is tiny. So you can you can delete the wave file, that, that no longer... Uh, relevant. And now you could play the MP3. Right click on the MP3 there. The MP3. That's not the MP3. Okay. You could uh, open that with, well, videos will play it. VLC media players will play it. VLC media player will play damn near almost anything, really. I love VLC. That's the one I use the most. Okay. But now you see you've just converted it and it works fine. Cool. Perfect. I will not remember that, but I mean it was nice to go through it. You'll get used to it. And plus seeing as this is a hangout, you can always go back over it later anyway. This is true. Because this is obviously okay. being recorded. Yeah. So, how do you like it? I mean, there's a lot more things that you go through, but I think the YouTube viewing audience gets the idea for now. Um, and of course, we see the. Um, I don't want you to click on this. I'm just mentioning it. Oracle um, uh, uh, virtual machine, you know, virtual box there. Um, I got Windows uh, piece of shit seven in there. So yeah, you can you can have mm -hmm. Windows in, inside your Linux in case you really need to run. You know, something having to do with Windows. You know, you can you can deal with that. So I guess now you can hit stop on the screen sharing. You are screen sharing, so we can stop on that. Yes, I like it a lot. And so concludes our tour. Obviously, uh, 
me and Kristen are going to keep chatting, but I'm going to stop broadcasting. So um, catch you all later. Hope you've enjoyed Linux. Um, I do believe LinuxMint.com is where you can go to download that. Um, you could boot it up off of a live CD for a bit of a test drive. So no obligation to even install it. So, um, yeah, have fun, everybody. Play with that, and it's real cool. Any final words, really? Um, I think it's cool that these programs are free um, through Linux and stuff, and they're the same exact thing that you would get anywhere else for Windows. So I think we know what the real deal is here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Signing off.